Hello guys and good afternoon! You are tuning on in to the Academy University Alliance Cup Valorant powered by Globe and Twitch to the 12 Alliance Campus Steve's one coveted slot to represent the Philippines in the PvP Esports Campus Championships this December. I'm Dax. And I'm Nausicaa. And here we are Nausicaa, it's finally time for the playoffs. I said before it was 12, but now we are cutting that field into half. Six teams remaining for the quarterfinals today, for the semifinals tomorrow. And let's check out that standings just to make sure who our top three from each group will be to make sure we have the right teams in the right spots. So there we are. We have it. Group A and Group B being represented here. LG Esports actually winning at that tiebreaker against Itamaraz in a head to head. And they are our first seed. Itamaraz in second. And Malayan Warlocks going to be third. In the meantime, for Group B, it's Virtus Arcus on the first seed. Valiant Archangels second. And MG Spade will take that last but not least slot. So, what does it mean to be seeded like this, Nozico? What do we do? What kind of matches will we get today and tomorrow in the quarterfinals and the semifinals, respectively? Yeah, well, if you guys see the bracket right now, you'll see that for today, we'll be having our quarterfinals. The first match is going to be between Malayan Colleges Laguna, uh, of course, the Warlocks, and then they'll be facing Mapu University's Spades. And then for Game 2, later on today, we're going to be having Holy Angel University's Valiant Archangels, and they'll be facing FU Institute of Technology's Itamarau. So these are our, of course, teams from the second and third seeds in their group. And whoever wins these matches tomorrow will be moving to the semifinals. Or rather, whoever wins these matches today, sorry, will move yes. on to the matches tomorrow for our semifinals. Of course, they'll be facing Ateneo de Manila University's LG Esports. And for the other side, they will be facing De La Salle University's Viridis Arcus. So these guys, of course, they did play out their games back in week five. And that's how they were able to secure their slots for the semifinals. They were the first seed for their groups. And we're looking forward to seeing who will proceed over to the finals, of course, at the end of this month. Absolutely. Best of five for that one. But first things first, we're going to be getting into our quarterfinals. And our first matchup here will be Malayan Warlocks from Malayan Colleges of Laguna versus MG Spades from Mapua University. Looking at the maps that we are going to be getting for this matchup, it seems like this is a best of three for the day. Really goes to show that we're going to get some bans, we're going to get some picks. And speaking of the picks, I believe we are going to be starting things off on ascend first and foremost there's a bit of that system it depends on who what seed you are and you can really choose the way you want to pick these maps so mcl picking ascend for map number one and it will be mapu in the meantime going for the attack first for this map really goes to show that our players getting ready to gear up for these weeks of action because it's only going to be the best it's only going to be a champion who can represent the philippines Yes, indeed. Now, actually, we can take a look at the pickems for a bit right before we get into the match. And looking at the votes, it seems there are majority votes, 62% going over to MCL's Malayan Warlocks and then 38% going over to MGS Spade. So this is going to be a very interesting match. The Malayan Warlocks finished third seed in Group A, while the MGS Spades finished group uh, in Group B. They were second seed. So there's a bit of a... Of course, since these two haven't faced each other before, it's difficult to say right now uh, who the actual underdog is and, of course, and who is favorite to win. But, of course, that's what's going to make this match exciting because we will figure out who is going to face Admu tomorrow uh, based on who wins these matches today. Absolutely. And there we go. Shout out from John Carlo. Hashtag MCL win in our fan shout out there. The virtual hangouts always a great place to be because not only do you guys get to submit your pickems and just play around with the statistics here and there. I'm glad to see it. We also have that chat rally from the virtual hangouts chat rally. Glow prepaid virtual hangouts will be dropping 750 Valentine points for a fan. Just type hashtag glow prepaid virtual hangouts and your team of choice to win. Make sure to have both the hashtag Tags up before round one ends, and we are going to be getting started into this first game, Nausicaa. It's high time to get into Ascent. Malayan Warlocks, I believe, going to be on the defense first, and MGS Spades on the attack Ascent instead. Ascent is our map, and we are going to be getting our, our way with our first quarterfinal into this one. All right, let's take a look at the agents that are going to be locked in for our teams. Uh, for those who have been keeping up with the weeks that have gone by, there have been a couple of favorites that have always appeared uh, in every game that we've had. Of course, Omen and Reyna are some of our very notable agents. Of course, the Jet is also always there with the op. Uh, but we haven't uh, been seeing, for example, certain agents like Sage and some of our Sentinels who have been 
uh, somewhat falling down in terms of priority. Interesting to see the breach here. Uh, could be locked in. Yes, it is locked in by the MGS Spades. This is a pick I was wondering when it would finally show up. It turns out it's going to be today at a quarterfinals. Finally, we're going to be seeing something a bit different here from both teams. But Ascent is a map that we've seen great duels happen. Looking into a matchup like this, it really is a battle to see who can make it to the semifinals. And Ascent is our map. Game number one between Malay and Warlocks as well as MGS Spades. And we are going to be getting into it. As we mentioned before, looking into the rosters themselves, looking into the agent compositions, we're getting that reach for one of the very first times in the UAC. It really has has been a double duelist setup for many into this whole league and for the time being we're gonna see more of the utility sage on the other hand you don't see it too often on a map like this gonna be interesting to see how the slow orbs and even the resurrection can come into play sage a more popular pick on a map like split instead but maybe a comfort pick might be the way to go here yeah, that was an interesting thing you pointed out with sage you know falling off in terms of priority especially after a lot of the nerfs uh, that have come through uh, but we will, we will see what kind of interesting plays our teams are going to come up with uh, as we proceed into this uh, first round of our quarter finals here. And there we go, guys. Oh. We are going to be checking out a bit of the technical issues there, but we'll be getting into the action very, very soon. I honestly thought we're going to have to look at this. Sky cam there, and I was going to be like, I in the sky. Are we in a helicopter here? Try to watch all of the action, but we are going to be getting down and dirty with these two teams very, very soon. But I really like that breach, Rika. I'm looking into, well, how they are going to be using it. There's so many different angles that they can utilize that they can actually go for fault lines from good flashpoints, a perfect aftershock here and there, and the rolling thunder, really good for the retake. But that sage difference, it allows you to go for the heals, sure, but it also allows you to get that resurrection, which is going to be mm. absolutely huge. Now, I think, though, that we also have the newest agent unlocked so far. And the question is, will we get Sky on this one? Yeah, that's definitely an interesting thing to point out as well. You know, we are seeing the breach today. Uh, and then we might see the Sky, you know, as we move on through the games. Of course, we mentioned that the format's a bit different today because this is the quarterfinals. It is going to be a best of three. So that means we're going to have... Well, if it extends, we're going to have a total of possibly six games today, which means a lot of opportunities for our teams to possibly bring out Sky, uh, one of the newer agents. And as far as we've been seeing, uh, at least, for example, from a couple of the tournaments and even in casual games, it looks like Sky uh, is rising up in terms of priority just because of the sheer utility that she brings as an agent, you know, with all of those flashes. Uh, of course, um, with the heal even. So it's a lot of interesting ways that Sky can be played, uh, especially when you put it in a competitive scene like this where you expect teams to be you know, very communicative. You know, It's really that's when the p true potential of an agent like Sky uh, really comes out. And I guess another interesting, to point, uh, interesting thing to point out for our teams is that some of them have actually opted uh, to go for you know, that option to take uh, or rather change their rosters. So a couple of new players will be showing up possibly uh, in our games today and also tomorrow. I believe four out of the six teams that are here uh, in the playoffs have actually opted to change their rosters a bit. So you guys might see a couple of new faces uh, as you proceed with their games today. Actually, it's interesting that you're going to be swapping your roster at the playoffs themselves. Quarterfinals, semifinals, it is a bit of a gamble there. But sometimes you can see that there is potential in newer teams and newer players and newer faces. Other times, some people just aren't available there. And for better or for worse, these are the teams that we're going to have. And I really hope to see the improvements here from each team if they have made these changes. But as we look into getting into our first game as soon as possible, there you have it. It's time now to get into round number two. Seems like Malayan Warlocks winning out the pistol there on the defense. Still though, here for Nan. Camera time. It's time for a quick little selfie here for MGS Fate. It's time for them to go for the deck of cards. Can they do it here and now? They're hopping on around, getting ready. But they look at the buys here for Malayan Warlocks. They have the Spectres. They even have a Bucky and a Bulldog. They're really buying it up for the second round with an Arsenal in tow. All right, let's see what the approach is going to be here. Seems like they are stacking up on B main. The Spades looking to go for an all-in attack, of course. Uh, no see if the rush can work, even though they had lost the previous round. Stun comes through. It yeah, seems like they're going to take a slow approach here. Right, Dry going to be looking to go for the crossfire there. Shock Dart gets thrown. They're really trying to hammer home onto the market so far. 
an empty of spades. Do you really want to make this beef push work? Already a kill there from the Sova, but can't S with the refrag getting the kill on the ghost in response. Homeya still high, staying on the high ground with Spike planted here by the side of A site. MG of spades being cheeky, and Zero they're putting it down, but here comes Warlocks with the cleanup, and they get everyone else along the way. All right, bit of a cheeky play there coming from our attacking side, able to plant. Uh, as they were able to divert the attention, of course, of the Million Warlocks to the B site there. So at least they did get the plant down. That's some credits going over to their team as we approach round three, which is, of course, where things really start to heat up. We'll see the buys come through from the MGS space, going for a full rifle lineup here, of course. Meanwhile, looking at the Million Warlocks, going to keep a couple of the weapons they got in round two, and we'll see how things go from there. Yeah, it's time to find out how this is going to work. It's time for the guns to come on in the first place and we will find out truly yeah. if this we, can we be a bad. bit of a comeback here from MGS Spades. Full rifle kit, the way to go. And we'll find out if this push is gonna be enough for them. Hellion though, Bucky in hand, holding close on to the main. Gets yeah. a little bit bad. Oh. Oh. Just the way smacks the wall, but Chameleon cannot hide there and that's bad them in hand here for the side of Million Warlocks. It's a free kill and it's a free steal from the Jet. <laughs> it turns out Jet doesn't need an op to pull off plays like those using the Get very cheap the Bucky there for a really good kill. It's gonna put the attacking side one man down. So they're gonna try and see if they should push on to B main here or if they're gonna change the approach. We see the Omen actually going yeah. through mid there and it seems like they are gonna back off B main, try to switch things up and push through mid. Cover going Look at the hide by the side here. Throws down the dark covers. MTS spades. They lost one on B main. They have to go for mid control instead. But Acrocity onto the high ground right now. This omen looking for a target or two. Wants to play close with that Spectre, but Zero in the meantime. Vandal still in hand. Wants to start things off in the mid. Slower push though from the side of MTS spades. And Hellion just jump peeks and catches out Nan. Usually that's just for intel, but with the blade storm, you can really fly up and get a kill. And Hellion will do it again. A lot of experience on the player like this. And Malayan Warlock's gonna go for left. the kills that they need. One left, it's Zero and they're all alone, gonna get blinded, but he spams down the cubby to get that take down. But here comes more though, that's the blade storm, and oh, Zero and they're still get three, holding on to the courtyard so far. And Malayan Warlock's, they have to be careful now against this omen. Oh man, Zirinir out for revenge, avenging his teammates right there and getting the 2k. Now he's gonna go over to A side. Couple of seconds though, not sure if he has time, barely. Can he get the 4 second? I think he might actually make it here. Oh, but shot there from the back by Kent's. A pretty rough round there for the MGS spades, taken out by those blades, of course, from the jet there. Hellion was just on fire, as you can see on the screen right now, getting the 3 kills, I believe. Uh, so really high value ultimate there. Yeah, this is so good right there. And lo looking at what happened with that Blade Storm, right? Just getting that insult, then getting the takedown. You do don't see it too often, but Helden proved us how much he knows yeah. about this game. Malayan Warlocks now making this a 3 0 no lead, making it even harder for MVS Spades to try and figure something out. It seems like, though, for the Spades, they are going to go for the Force yeah, Bites. Yeah. Whatever they can buy individually, they're going to use it to push onto A. But here we go again. Cheeky angle, though, with the spike. It's over onto B side. And the question is, can you? We get an opening here from the Spades roster. Yeah, interesting that they did go for the Force by there. Maybe not wanting the Malayan Warlocks to get too much momentum. Since this is the third round in a row that they've won so far. Ghost here approaching with maybe the one-tap Sheriff. Walking up on A main, but the Dark Cover does come through. Looks like they are going to be going for a very slow approach here. Maybe go for a couple of picks and then play off of those. Yeah, Malayan Warlocks though looking to go for a bit of that crossfire right now. Brian holding on to the CT side and he wants to really contest this push if it does come on to B side. But try, we'll start things off with this Sage. Usually you don't see the Sage going for the entry Ooh. and Kent will still get that takedown. Ghost right now will say, okay, my teammate died. Try to get this gun instead. The Cypher sticking on the low ground. M and GS Spades, they're hesitating right now to really push onto A or B and they are paying the price for it. Malayan Warlocks is already ready for it, but Hellion will go down to the hand of Zirinner. He's been popping off for the past few rounds and he is still doing it again from the shadows now to get that intel. 10 HP though, to survive still and across the trying to hold on. Nan will go down. Nan did get the offense there, but here comes Zirinner they're also on the board. High ground right now for Homia. Yeah, this breach checking out any single angle here. And here comes Spike down, but Zirinner with another tag on the board. Brian now all alone on the high ground, and that's enough for Malayan Warlocks to clutch it. Low HP state for MGS Spades allows Malayan to take the win.
Oh man, that is gonna hurt MGS Space economy right there. Unfortunate, though very close, it did become a 1v1 towards the end of that round there. But still, we did get that winning streak, you know, from the defender side. So really, Malaya Warlocks, the momentum is on them right now. And the credits are also on them. Uh, but it, it is gonna be uh, still another full buy here, you know, from the MGS Space. Let's see. If they'll be able to finally secure their own win here, of course, this does definitely affect mental uh, game a lot. Because losing four rounds in a row in the quarterfinals is definitely not a great way to start. A good way to start, indeed. This is only our first game, guys. But MG Spades, they're going for the force buy. If they lose this round, they're not going to have the money again. The only reason why they have buys in the first place is because of that losing streak. But Ghost already looking to go for that win. And Kent will go down across the though, holding on to the Garden Angle. Operator in hand. This Omen passed back on the way because of the camera play. And Helia played the aggression, but he doesn't get the kill on the Omen. Now, this is good intel here for Malia because the, the thing they notice is that Spike is on the Omen's hand. He's all the way up B side, and the Warlocks can take the time, cast a spell or two to stay on the high ground. Yeah, we got two alts here on the side of MGS Spades. So this could be their first round here, but of course the op is still online for the defending side. The Malayan Warlocks now approaching A site here, but the plant does come down. We do have the Breach Ultimate here just to keep things in check, uh, or rather to maybe re approach for the retake. Let's see though if they can pull it off. Retake is the way to go, and here comes Homia yeah, looking to hit home with the Rolling Thunder. Hell yeah, though, with the Cloud Burst onto the side, and even Ooh. though that's gonna be Chameleon sticking by the tree, it's just gonna be Hellion planting it down there. Homia also on the board, two in a row for the Breach. We saw Dry get the kill, sure, but this is the Breach right now leading the charge. Checking out the Arcway there, but Ghost will peek and get that takedown. Brayden right now keeping an eye on Hellion, is sticking it for the Sun Don't Shine. He gets halfway, it seems like the fake is there. There we go, though, with the darts, and finally the Warlocks will do it again. 5-0 right now, commanding this game. And MGS Fates, they have to shuffle it over, try to figure out what to do now. Yeah, clean retake there from the Malayan Warlocks there. They were able to slowly but surely get the picks there onto the site there, over A site. We saw them approaching up from, from pretty much all the angles, and then we had two of them uh, go through A main, so it was a good retake there. MGS Spades didn't exactly use all of their ultimates in that previous round, so they do have three up this time around, though, of course, not sure if we'll be able to get a full buy uh, for them. So let's see what kind of approach they go for here. Yep, we see two ghosts on their side. Meanwhile, full rifles and still the op here for Acrosity. Yeah, when you're losing like this, usually on the odd rounds, you're going to have some buys. On the even rounds, you're not going to have it whatsoever. And for now, Spades, they just need one win to really change the tempo of this game. But across it, they already saying, hey, Operator here on the Cubby, you got to be a lot more careful, Spades. But Hell, you're not pushing forward after the flash into the run on in. It was even a slower play there from Warlocks. They didn't even bother using the dash there. And Brian still holding on to B side. He's just really sticking on to the CT side, allowing Spades to come a little bit closer. But as we get into the Warlocks is ready for a crossfire there. Homia catches out, man. And it's already two down. Make that three as Warlocks is commanding this game even more so. Oh man, well, this is to be expected pretty much because of the losing streak that the MGS Spades have had so far. So at this point, it's really just about the MGS Spades trying to do as much damage as they can. You know, maybe even pick up a rifle or two if they can get the picks. But that's Acrosity picking up another one with that up. Looking for the last one here, Ghost just sitting behind the doors here. And that is going to be a flawless win here. Six rounds in a row going over to the Malayan Warlocks. The Warlocks, these guys have really opened their spell book and they're just casting it over the place right now. It's just been so difficult for Spades. Even if they have the buys to get the result, it has just been an answer. And right now, what we're for Warlocks is they just have a bit more of that experience between Hellion and what he's been doing with those peaks. We have Homia with the breach difference, and it really is just Warlocks having more tools right now. But Spades, we've seen them impress on the map like this before. They can still do it here and now. Zeriner has been the star of the show here for the Spades. He might be the ace for them for now, but this is going to be Hellion looking to play the aggression. B main might be the corpse of Spades here. There you go in one. There's the dash on the left side. He's stuck here though. 30 HP goes for the upstairs to try and get away. And how did he even get away with that? Brilliant. will keep it alive as well. And Warlocks. They're just getting off scot free here. Even a shock Out start on the one more stage. They really have to make sure that the cards are facing up rather than down. Oh man, Hellion, no fear at all to just get walk up there on B main and take out a couple before drafting, using that updraft to get away. And now it's only two left. Though Zirinir does get one onto Hellion. So there is still some hope here. They've got one ultimate on the Omen. Good off the TP, but looks like they're going to take the long route, of course, from spawn. 
Although the Akrosity might spot them out here. He's got the up misses. He's gonna have to back off here. Throws out the paranoia. Tries to reposition himself. Gets hit though. He isn't gonna be taken out, but it looks like this is gonna be a rush approach now from the MGS Spades. Uh, this is the worst part of MGS Spades game right now, is they allow Warlocks to run away. It's like, okay, <laughs> I missed that shot, but I'm out. Peace, I'm good. We saw that a while ago on B, we see that here on A. And the Spades, they need to do a lot better at punishing the opposition because there is left. no more room for error. This is the quarterfinals and you want to put on the performance that you can really represent your school, your university here and now in the UAC. For now though, Ghost with the Reina. We all know that Spades are famine with this agent all about getting those kills. But a slower play here from MGS Spades will just not work out for them. 12 seconds left, will they force it out? Seems like they left. are going to go for TP and Warlocks is not ready for it. Zeroner will say, okay, no sure, plant it down. Hunter's Fury, though, gonna come our way, and no more time for Spades to put this down at all. They waste an ultimate, they lose the round, but at least they still save on two. Yeah, that is one ultimate burned from each side here, so not sure if that was worth it exactly, but that is gonna put one ultimate down at least for the Malayan Warlocks. Now it's gonna be three ults. We got the Resurrection, of course, from the Sage, Nero Theft, and then the Hunter's Fury coming through. And I guess you can't help but compare the team compositions our two teams are running right now because, of course, MGS Spades did still opt to use the Reyna here in the quarterfinals. Meanwhile, of course, on the other side, defenders, they've got more utility on their hands because they did go for the breach. And so we'll, I guess we'll start to see, you know, how these team compositions affect their win rates as we go through every round. But right now, looks like it could be an A push here for the MGS Spades. And interesting enough for Warlocks to go for a gun, gun composition that isn't seen too often nowadays. Double Operator on Ascent needs to go for Crossfire, and Acrosity will give the first one up. Ghost, just being a bit spooky there, decides to go on in and get that take down. The trip though, will on Kent to get the kill on the one. Here comes the Resurrection, though, and suddenly it's 3v4, but in favor of the Spades. Wall now finally coming online. Seems like for Dry, he's gonna go to the high ground. Hero Theft, though, gets the intel, and there's the spray down, but they can't go for the takedown. Spike, though, gonna get flattened, and Dry, you cannot reload in front of someone there 3v3 though homeo with the kill and warlock's looking for the racing oh really rough there for the sage reloading and now it's gonna be a 3v3 let's see if the malayan warlock can get the retake two falls so quickly there and it's only nan left here in hell and that is gonna be the malayan warlocks once again this is eight rounds in a row right now for our defender side and the mgs spades really look like they're struggling to come up with an answer here has to hurt because that was their best chance to use the resurrection and i like the play they went up top for the neural theft into the smoke spam down but they were the ones punished instead and mgs spades not only are they unable to punish the whiffs there from warlocks but they're also doing some of these fundamental mistakes like reloading in the face of adversity they have to be a bit more careful and i've seen mgs spades before and it isn't this sloppy it might just be jitters right now because this is the quarterfinals it's still a little different that you come from a system where it's a group stage to single elimination spades though if they lose this one they still have one more map to give if ever but right now warlocks is giving their all that's gonna be a takedown there from kent's on to drive but zero there will get the refrag since we saw the operator whiff it's not gonna be another kill and warlocks will have to rotate again to reinforce a site yeah it could be another retake situation here from the defender side but looks like the mgs spades are gonna opt to take their time taking slowly the stun is gonna come through not sure if that hit anyone, but now they are walking in. The cages come through as well. Acrosity, though, is here with the op. Unable to land that one onto Ghost, but Dan is starting to plant. It does go down. Looks like it's another retake situation here for the Malayan Warlocks. They've got two ultimates. We've got the Rolling Thunder, of course, and that TP from the Omen, Hellion. Trying to look for a kill here, but doesn't get one just yet. Yeah, Hellion decides to back on away. Seems like the high ground right now for the side of Malayan Warlocks again. Oh, and MGS Spades is given another reprieve, another chance to redo the wrongs that were written there. Can they make it the right right now? It seems like there's the first skill from that. Straight down from Zero there, and he's oh. just not gonna get caught out there. Brand with the Odin, it's just not gonna be enough. And finally, Spades will make it happen. It feels like it was deja vu there, Nausicaa. We saw the Rolling Thunder play come online again from Homia. But finally, third time maybe the charm there for MG Spades. They finally get a point here. Yeah, great job from them. They're finally able to secure that round. And honestly, that must be a breath of relief from the whole team right now. They were finally able to break that momentum that the Malayan Warlocks had for eight rounds in a row. So hopefully, this does give them uh, their own momentum to try and get things going for them. It is a really big gap right now. It's a really uh, 
huge climb from here. But let's see if the MG Spades can keep their composure. Looks like it's going to be another push here onto B site, leaving mid and A open. We see Hellion peeking there, but knows that there's no one going to be pushing from Link. Got the Odin actually here on defender side as well. Yeah, they have to ascend really here on Ascent, and that scoreline looking pretty, pretty tough to climb indeed. Brando gonna be on the other side, Odin ready to spam it down, and there you go, Whittles down dry immediately. There is just nothing you can do when the Odin paints your own corpse onto the wall there. Zerner holding onto the boat has no, and while MGS Fades did actually get a plant here, Malayan Warlocks really spamming it down. Brando gonna get lost, Hellion right now with the Operator again, and we'll see what this jet can do. Going for the angle right now. There is the wall. Interesting setup, even though we can already know that Warlock can half hop on it for the time being. 2v3, though, Zeriner holding still here. The boat has another kill for the Omen, and he really has been bringing these tidings so far. Can they go for the crossfire, though? That goes also with another kill, but here comes Homia, and down he goes. That is gonna be a strike out there from the Warlocks as Spades will do it now on B site. Oh man, Zirinir's consistency could very well be the foundation right now for the attacking side to keep the wins in their favor. Things are looking good so far. And like I said, you know, breaking that momentum that the Malayan Warlocks had could really be important here for the MGS Spades to turn things in their favor. Right now, let's see what kind of approach it seems. They really are going and just kind of alternating here between A and B. So Ghost does sometimes go for the approach as a solo uh, pusher there through mid. But for now, it's looking like we are going to go for A again. Malayan Warlocks haven't been so success uh, successful with their retakes recently. Yeah, we'll see though if these retakes now can actually go in their favor. I gotta really give it to Zerner as you mentioned. He has just been the shining star right now for Spades. As we mentioned, he's no Joker. He's an ace here and now. And we'll see if the Omen can actually motivate the rest of the team to do one better and do that kind of level. Go still really helping out on that post plant a while ago. And now they're going to be going back to a side split screen action. Going to be going back to Ghost here on the perspective. It's not now for the Leer, but it's going to be behind Hellion. And he dashes onto the right hand side, but Ghost will still get that kill. Zerner also on the board the survivors a while ago looking to start things off strong and the warlocks their momentum completely cut off by the spades it really feels like that this is a twist of fate here from the spades so far and it's a side for their taking again yeah and this time there's no rolling thunder on the malayan warlocks for the retake ghost able to take out homea so now it's going to be a 2v5 again things not looking good for the retake here for the malayan warlocks are they going to opt to push through with this or will they go for the save we still have the ultimate from the omen here although not much time the clock is ticking and it seems like they may actually opt to save this time yeah no points actually going into five like this brian doesn't have the hunter's fury yet and it really looked like for the warlocks if they got the kill with the sova they can go for the retake but mgs spades have really gotten the momentum back and they at least needed this here it's a good start for them and if this is the start of something new for them in the first place, then this is the best time because if they get one more round, that's four in a row. That's them going to be on the defense and they can take that momentum and really stick it against Warlocks. Yeah, for all we know, honestly, maybe the MGS space just needed eight rounds to warm up for this best of three. So we'll see if they can keep this going. Uh, two ultimates on the side of the Million Warlocks. The Neural Theft is now up for the defender side, but Ghost this time has the Empress online. So maybe we'll see some aggression uh, coming from this player right now on the attacker's side. The approach this time seems like they're going to split up, kind of similar to earlier, where they'll go for mid and the push up on A. Yeah, push up on A will be the plan of action again. And, you know, the thing that MGS Spades has also done, that it's kind of low-key, but it's very obvious to do, is finally bring the spike along with them. It's no more cheeky plays there. It's just, come on, Zerner, you've been the top frag. You've been the one leading our charge, so please come with us to make this push happen. And Paranoia is the good starting point here for Spades. Kent's though, gonna be looking to peek, and Warlocks will make it simple on this defense this time. The Cypher just able to go for the setup, the crossfire there from the doorway, and right now it's gonna be Kent's looking to duel against the Sova here, and now 4v2 though, 27 HP here for our Cypher. Neural Temp tips that hack and tips it in favor more so on the side of Warlocks, but suddenly Spades answering back. Brain's gonna be able to get one. Here comes Hobio with a flash, and that is gonna be the dragon becoming him. The Warlocks will make it a triple up there. 9 to 3 as we go Switching into the sides. next half. All right, Malay and Warlocks kind of shutting down the momentum MGS Spades were slowly building for themselves in that first half. But now we're gonna switch over on the sides, and now it's going to be MGS Spades on the defense. So hopefully we can see them uh, continue to carry over the 
performance they had later on uh, in the previous half. For the Malaya Warlocks though, uh, since they are going to be having only one duelist with the jet, let's see what kind of approach they go for, uh, for the since they are the attackers this time. The big thing about the Warlocks right now though is they are really coming out of the mold of the whole league right now over the Unity Alliance Club because uh, the University Alliance Club because when I look at their roster right now we don't see this too often from the group stage we don't see this from the games we've seen MG Spades is playing a roster that has been cookie cutter more or less in the past few weeks the stage has been the only game changer there it's not even the most optimal pick on a map like this so for the Warlocks they've proven to us so far that this is playoffs time. That this is a completely, completely new identity for them because they are willing to go above and beyond the rest of the scene so far. And we'll see truly if the Warlocks can actually make this attack happen here and now and keep the momentum in their favor. Pistol round though is a clean slate for both sides. And if the Spades want to make this comeback a real possibility, then they have to win this round. Ghost right now dueling against many top mid into the platforms. There are going to be pretty much a straight line approach from the Warlocks and Ghost will back away instead and get some heals from the Sage. All right, seems like it's going to be a push up mid now for the Million Warlocks as they walk toward Market. We see the Jet slowly make an approach while the other members here of the MGS space just hanging out uh, close to spawn to see if they're going to be actually committing for the push here at mid. See smokes come through and it seems like they are going to be walking through Market right now. Two members are waiting. Nan throwing out some shots here. Not sure if he's going to be able to land any as he loses some HP as well. Seems like the plant is going to come through whole team now. Of Millennial Warlocks are going to be here over at B while MGS Space try to catch up. Spike is down. Uh, so unlucky there for Nan. He's using the ghost, which means there are no tracker rounds past the smoke there. It just hits hits along the way. But Spades, oh, that's oh. a good flag there from Drive. Rayon will not be expecting it. And that's the stage getting already some wisdom there. Nan also on the board. Here comes the Spades. And they have the 3v2 advantage. But the Breach can really control the lanes right now. And Hellion will peek in time. Seems like he is really five peeking there. And then as Dry will come in from the other side. Double lane approach right now from the Spades. They're going to be cutting it into two and that's be chameleon and dry with those final blows the spades they needed that round to keep the tempo in their favor and the question is will they get the defuse yes they can with less than five seconds to spare and the spades will get the first round in the second half oh man that flank from chameleon i think really just sign of unsettled uh, the attackers there for that retake did not expect that and so it did turn into a really scrappy fight in favor of the MGS Spades. And like you said, this is really good for them uh, as it is probably going to give them a sense of hope to finish uh, this game and be the winners of our first match in this right best here. of three. Of course, it is going to be a battle of endurance as well since we aren't going to go for those best of ones like we did in the group stage. Uh, we'll have to really see that endurance come through for our teams here to secure a slot in the semifinals tomorrow. Just today, tomorrow, and next week. Three great days. And if this is the first time you guys are catching out the University Alliance Cup for Valorant, then this is the perfect time to do so. We had 12 teams from 12 great universities, and now we have six remaining top ones keeping up the pressure and keeping up the great games we've been seeing so far. It's a battle to see who will represent the Philippines next month. But in a case like this, we'll see what these two teams can represent for their universities. The Warlocks, though, they're spreading on a ramp, playing for picks right now. Even though they have the inferior guns, they have the confidence that they they can go for the 1v1s but for spades they have the guns they so they can hold as aggressively as they can we see one on mid we see one holding on to the garden and we see the drone seeing everyone else all right let's see what kind of approach warlocks will go here to try and swing things back in their favor they were at an eight round winning streak uh, the mgs spades were able to make it back so i'm sure they're hungry to try and get their momentum swinging back. Let's see, they're pushing up mid right now. Smokes go off and it seems like it's gonna be another take onto B site here. Stun comes through. Left. And of course the shot's being fired here, but no one falls down just yet, except for Hellion taking out Zeranir. Now it's two down for the defending side and the Malayan Warlocks slowly getting a couple of kills. It's not 3v3 onto B site. Spike not yet planted. God, million and Kent's gonna be able to get one apiece there, making it 2v2, but that has to be a mistake here for the Warlocks because they are not gonna have any more time spike. to get this fight down. Can he make it? Four Ooh. seconds in, he will have half a second left to actually Fly, put this one down, and the Warlocks will force it out at the skin of their teeth. But here we go again. Nausicaa goes right now looking for the push. Chameleon with the double up and the spades using the intel that they have to get that kill. The Warlocks right now looking not looking the right direction. It's Kent's trying to hold. 
whole Ooh. line, but no ghost will get that takedown. And the spades, they were kind of panicking there at the very end, but they kept calm with the double peek. And I gotta give it to them because since Warlocks forced out that B push, which was a big mistake from them since they already opened up A site like that, spades, they defended well with the gun advantage, and they now take two in a row in this half. Yes, indeed. Now we are going to see the buys come through. So this is going to be the first round where the Warlocks uh, are going to go for a full rifle setup here. A couple of Spectres. That's three Spectres on the defender side. And then we've got a rifle there for Zirinir and Dry. So things, at least in terms of the gun lineup, the Millennium Warlocks will have a bit of an advantage. Let's see though if they can use it to finally secure their 10th round win or if the MGS base will continue to shut them down. See an approach here. Going close to A, the wall up early here from the Sage, actually. Let's see if they'll push through with this. Smokes do come through, and the fires are being had here to take down the wall. Let's see if they can push through with this A site. Now, all of A site knows you're here, the attackers, and the Warlocks are going to be looking to really make this push a possibility as it seems like a rotation will be coming through to the B side as well. Spike though is still on A main so, for so far, so they might go for cubby control, they might go for mid control as of the moment, but the spades are rotating accordingly and already tripling up on the right side of the map. But there you have it. It is no going to be a navigation onto the courtyard. Instead, the Warlock's looking for that control onto the market area and Hellion is leading the charge. They can go for the cubby though with the drone scouting on the round. MGS Spades hiding appropriately to try and get away from that intel. And for now, the Warlocks, they have to decide, can they go mid to B? Can they go mid to A? Or will they just stay there and have a picnic? All right, Smoke's thrown out there. I thought it was going to be a push-up market, but it seems like they're actually rotating and going to pass through the left. cubby here going into A site. The Paranoia goes through. No shots being fired. Dry is still alive here, but without a wall, only a heal to his name. No slow orbs either. He's going to be taken down quite quickly as the Warlocks swarm over onto the A site. Now we see the MGS Spades approaching from spawn. Going to try and get some high ground here. Brian going to be holding on to the tree itself. And the Warlocks right now, at the very least, getting that plant down. Four round lead, and it's five versus four. Seems like though for the spades, they're struggling to actually push in any kind of confidence. They know the warlocks are waiting on around, the and they know Being that set. they are going to be in corners here and there. But the question is, where will they peek first? It's Ghost versus Brian, and Ghost will get that takedown. Here comes the swing though from across the team, but it's a little too late to save his teammate. And the Reyna will get that momentum in his favor. Kent's though going to get two so far, 2v2. But the warlocks are so low on the HP. But here comes Homia just saying, hello, peekaboo, I see you. He comes in from the window but for now that is going to be hell freezing over for him because ghost will get free so far that's the spike though getting blown up and too late for the speeds because the warlocks will get it there oh man huge kills from ghost it could have been something he was actually able to take out two rifle users there with the specter but unfortunately there was no time and now the malayan warlocks finally going to secure their win there is also going to be a breath of relief for them because the mgs space did quite uh have a lot of momentum going them for them on their side. We'll see if the Millennium Warlocks can keep this going. They are 10 to 5 right now on the score and very close to winning the first round of this best of three. Seems like it is going to be a push on to B this time. You see three members walking up B while the Omen walks up through mid. Meanwhile, the defenders are spread out here. And we'll see how this is going to be spread out indeed by the defense. MGS Spades playing onto the cubby, playing this high ground as much as possible. But Ghost, not going to see anyone whatsoever. He heard the whisper that someone was moving on around. But the Warlocks have already decided to go over here to B side instead. It's time to accept where they're going to get sorted. Will they go over to the lanes oh, immediately? Right. Or can they contest the market area first and foremost? Rolling Thunder into play. Brain with a beautiful shock. They're already catching out, man. Exactly and Homia right. will get Chameleon there. Sova unable to secure that kill fast enough and he will die without anyone being brought along now the spades they just are going to struggle to make this happen warlocks already set up on site they have that breach can really control the lanes with the sova in tow and with the sage and the reina the best thing they can do right now is slow into the shots but what can they do in this one because ghost gonna break down the doorway and here comes the spades with warlocks already ready for it all right let's see we've got two ultimates on the attacker side right now and of course, Ghost still has the Empress here. Shots fired. Now it's going to be a 3v1. It's only Sage left here. Dry, what are you going to do with that pistol? Is he actually going to try and go for a clutch here against the three? Or will he try and grab a rifle instead and save? Oh no, oh, that's a going free kill. for the exit frag. Hell yeah, 
and he had so little HP in the frenzy is enough. He went ballistic there for the kill, but the Warlocks will do it again. And now it is 11 to 5. The Spades, they've woken up in the past few rounds to really put up a good fight. If you look at the round they won in, they've actually gotten a 5-3 lead in that oh, Spectrum. Nice but... Spot. They were kind of asleep. It's like they missed their first period and they went to the second one. But you completely lose your grade there on the first one. And from that grading, we got how many rounds there from the Warlocks? That is just a big chunk of eights from that first half. And now they're up by six still. So for the Spades, if they're really going to put up a fight, they have no more room for error. This is their cramps culture. This is their do or die time. This is when you pass your thesis a day before. Don't quote me on that because I totally did it. But Warlocks! <laughs> Gonna be looking to push again. This time we do see the spike on A side, and it's a triple stack there with one in mid, one to lurk on B, and Kent will keep an eye out of any pushes. All right, let's see what the approach is here for the Malayan Warlocks. The MGS Spades, they've got four ultimates on their side. Got that Neural Theft, and of course the Hunter's Fury Resurrection as well uh, from the Sage. So it could really be clutch if used at the right moment. Earlier, we saw the Malayan Warlocks really good use of utility so that they could secure that previous round really clean. Let's see if we can see the same kind of uh, smart use of utility from the MGS Spades here as the ultimate, at least in terms of count, are in their favor. Hunter's Fury coming through here on to a site. Gets one pick actually there onto Dry, so there won't be a resurrection here actually. For the defenders and Zirinir able to get one and now it's only two left so quick from the defender side it looks like it's going to be a clean plant here let's see if the mgs space can actually go for the retake you know the magicians they say that lightning can really strike twice and we saw that from the warlocks there but ghost will catch out hellion who decides to leap in just to die homia though still staying onto the low ground perfect place for the breach to go for the flashes and even the aftershock from below but for now the sova getting the intel and can't get get spotted because that dart doesn't get broken in at time hides behind the double box right now there we go though with the leer and the spades if they pop that empress this might be a chance for them but they're running out of time and the question is will they run on away can they get out safely or can this be the side of warlock saying you can't escape you can't get away from this one and ghost though will catch out kents along the way but time is really ticking and homeo with one drop down right now from the solo Ooh. and the headshot to get Connection. Hey, bad a swing from home yet to get that kill again. And the Warlocks match on match points. points for this one. Oh man, one round to go. And the Malayan Warlocks are going to secure the first game in this best of three. And of course, with such a dominating first eight rounds, I'm sure they're really feeling uh, like they have the advantage. They just have to keep things going. Looking at the economy right now, it does not look good for the MGS Spades. One is going to have to stick to the pistol there. And of course, one with the Spectre. We got two Phantoms and a Vandal. But of course, on the other side, wow, we're actually seeing Hellion on the Judge there. Uh, so this could be interesting for our potential last round. He can go close, he can just dash in, and he can just get that takedown. And it's a good game changer here. It's really such a good pace breaker, but for now, the pace of Dry can get broken again. We said it before, the Sage, not really the most optimal pick on a map like this, and Dry has been struggling to really get anything done. The Resurrections haven't really been going online because he's just been dying here and there. The Walls and the Slows were used early. And it's more of the matter of Warlocks getting this match map control, and there we go, Helen trying to get even more, but Chameleon without the takedown. But usually, when you play that Sage, you play for orbs, and and for the spades, they're unable to really do that so far. It's not really on dry in terms of his play. But with how his agents has been used, it's so early into the game. And the Warlocks say, okay, there's a wall, there's a stall. Let's just go somewhere else. Yes, indeed. 4v3 now for the defenders who are a man down compared to the attackers. We see them pushing up mid. Looks like it's going to be an approach through tree onto A site. The smoke does come through. And of course, the Sova is going to be quite late. Neural Theft is up. No bodies to use that on just yet. Rolling Thunder, though, coming through. It looks like it's going to be a rush now onto A site. Omen, Zirinir waiting here. Gets a shot, but he's taken out as well. Now it's a 3v2. Acrocity going to be waiting right under here as the plant does come down. Uh, from the shadows, also for that intel. Going to be so helpful, and he's a really good spot to stay alive if ever. But for now, that is going to be a TP in the play. He comes up back, but Chameleon able to just infiltrate through the doorway and catch out Kent's across the deal on the board. 2v1 right now, and the last hope of spades going to be blending with the shadows. Can he get the kill on the Omen? Yes, he can. One more to go, but the spike needs to get defused along the way. Homie right now, base is loaded all up to him, and he will struck it out indeed. There we go with the swing from the Warlocks, and they will get the hit here on a set taking it 13 to 5 a great game from them oh man what a game of course we saw
the Malayan Warlocks definitely had the momentum on their side for majority, actually, uh, of that game. During the first eight rounds, we saw them win. Good thing for the MGS Spades, though, they were able to make it back, get a couple of rounds for themselves. We thought maybe they were going to turn the tides uh, in their favor and make it a closer game. But of course, the Malayan Warlocks, they were able to find their footing and were able to win this first game in our best of three. I guess one thing that will be interesting as we approach the second game here is I'm wondering if the MGS Spades are going to continue to go with this agent lineup because we saw them go for the Reina still. I'm wondering if maybe they'll go for a more utility-based agent. Of course, we know that Sky is actually open for the first time in this tournament, so maybe we get to see uh, a bit of a switch up in terms of composition here. I'm going to get ready. You know, I'm going to get ready with some shades, <laughs> and I do see that. But I got to say, though, for the Spades, it really feels like they're playing with what we've seen so far. But the Warlocks, they've played that in such a good way. They went for the future and the future is now. The Breach making a good splash here in the University Alliance Cup and it just made the difference in the world. Hellion and his experience playing itself also showing a bit of that pedigree and they were able to exploit so many things that MGS Spades did wrong. But the Spades were still in it when they finally woke up. And upcoming to our next map, which is Haven and their pick, they might have a better chance at it because they basically warmed on up, but they've also put themselves in the corner. Malayan Warlocks with a very well-deserved victory, but I cannot count out the MGS Spades as of yet. Before we get into that one, guys, we'll take a little break and we'll be right back for game number two. You guys are watching the University Lands Cup quarterfinals. Dear Mother, Light of the home. Dad. Hey, baby. Greetings, Professor Rodolfo. May I be absolved from... Math club tomorrow. May globe virtual hangouts kasi. Go and hang out from wherever you are. Just open the Globe One app, choose an event, and click join. You watch concerts online. Woo! Dance together. We can do quiz dance. <gasps> Yo, let's go! If, uh, if you allow me, I promise to make it up to you and repay your kindness tenfold. <laughs> Truly, your favorite child. I love you, Dad. Me, me. Please, please. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your fave events with low prepaid virtual hangouts all together now. Yes. Quiet. I promise I'll be quiet. The sequel once again with my only friend.
So welcome back, guys, and that was a great number one. You are watching the Acad Arena University Alliance Cup Valorant, powered by Globe and Twitch Student. 12 Alliance Campus teams, one coveted slot to represent the Philippines in the PvP Esports Campus Championships this December. And we are back at the action. We are going to be getting into game number two in just a bit. But before we get into that one, great game there from the Warlocks. 1-0 and on Ascent. Haven going to be the next one there. And you guys have really made your voices heard in the chat. And it's been great to see all the support to the universities. But let's look into the, how much support we got before we started things off. And let's check out those pickems again. There we see the votes coming through and the Malayan Warlocks seem to have majority. We've got 68%. So great job, of course, from the supporters there of Malayan Colleges of Laguna. But of course, we still do have support here. 32% going over to MGS Spades from Mapua University. You guys are gonna have to keep the support up though because we are gonna be moving into game two. But before that, don't forget that you guys can go for the chat rally. So if you missed that pick and vote, you can still win some VP because it's time for our virtual hangouts chat rally. So Glow prepaid virtual hangouts will be dropping 750 Valorant points for a fan. So just type hashtag Globe prepaid virtual hangouts and your team of choice. So it is going to be, in this case, hashtag MCL win or hashtag MU win. And make sure to have both hashtags in before this round starts. So we'll pick a winner, cheered for the winning team. Now we go for the agent select. Yeah, here we are on Haven. And when we ever talk about the chat rally, it really just wants me to get my old drum set out of the, well, out of the salvage and just be like, Here's the bass, here's the snare, let's make some noise. And I realize I only have a mic and it's gonna, gonna sound terrible compared to being in an arena <laughs> there. But you know, badly yet, as we are gonna be getting into our second game. It's been a while since I went to college. I feel old. But the Warlocks are gonna be on the defense here and they are on match point. If they win this one, they move on to face off against LG Esports into tomorrow's semifinals. MGS Spades, it's a battle for survival right now. As we mentioned before, only one team can represent the Philippines in the region there and we'll find out who is it gonna be after a few days into the playoffs especially this weekend quarterfinals today semifinals tomorrow and next week Saturday it is gonna be the grand finals best of five but here we are gonna get into the action Haven is our map and this can be a chance for redemption to the spades here Nausicaa yeah gonna be an interesting match you know like you said this is definitely the MGS phase trying to keep the dream alive you know they were able you know to swing things into their favor a bit during the previous game but we are hoping to see more action you know and more fire coming from them this time around because can't lie the Malayan Warlocks really seemed like they were gonna just steamroll through the previous game when they won those first eight rounds but of course can't count the MGS spades out because they were able to get five of their own maybe things will be different too because we do have different agent oh, lineups nice coming place. around this time and of course on a different map which is Haven of course one of our more unique maps with the three sites of course uh, let's see, taking a look at the agents, we're seeing rays come through for both sides, actually. And it looks like the MGS space are going to be sticking to that Reyna. But this time it's not Ghost. Ghost is actually going to go over to Jet. And then Zirinir, who was on the Omen earlier, is going to be switching over to our Reyna. So interesting for this time. You know what's interesting? Space is playing Triple Duelist. They say there's three sites and that have one duelist on each one of them. And this now means that Spades is basically going all in on the attack. This is the half they that really matters right. for them because they're going to be giving up sites more or less for free if they want to play this comp right. Triple duelist is more about being attack centered. And when you're on the defense, you kind of have to give up that take to the opposition because you have no staying power whatsoever. Raze has the best one there on that Here. duelist role. But besides that, what can the Jet and Reyna do besides Here. get those kills? Cypher going to be on the side of spades as well as the omen and a big gamble here for spades in their elimination match basically warlock though running double duelist right now and they're going for the defuse Elliot sticking it again but that's gonna be dry getting that take down across safety though with the refrag along the way and nan holding on to the short angle so far chameleon up on top and surprise surprise spades gonna be able to get that element there in their favor now chameleon sees the cypher can the warlock still survive there's the takedown and the spades will get it there they need these rounds here, Nausicaa, on the attacking side because I look at that comp and I'm just like, how are they gonna defend properly? Or in this case, 
normally because they have to do something a little bit different once we swap sides. Yeah, such an interesting agent lineup. And I think throughout the duration of this tournament, this is probably the first time we're seeing a triple duelist lineup in the quarterfinals, no less. And like you mentioned, you know, this half is going to be so crucial for the MGS Spades if they can really capitalize on the strength of this duelist lineup. Because of course, once we switch over to the other side, things are going to prove to be difficult for the MGS Spades with that lack of utility. Maybe the MGS Spades are going to look to go for their own 8 round winning streak uh, this time around. They'll have to hope to get that, honestly. But now we're seeing a couple of kills go through one for one right now on each side. As we see Nan take out the Cypher there. And we'll see if they can keep this going. I love this from Spades. You already know when you are gambling your luck, you just go all in. And with a comp like this, they have really John just gone and went with it in the first place. So the Spades right now going to be having a 3v3. Good pick also from the Warlocks. And this is what they want to do. This is an equal round for them. So every kill really counts in the first place. Nando keeping an eye on. There's a kill on the cross. Theme. And Hellion coming in from behind. But the Spades will do it again. 2-0. Running Rampage so far. But the best chance right now for the Warlocks will, to, will be to play this out on this round when they have the guns. Yes, now this is where it gets scary because this is when the full buys come through and you get to see what a full on, uh, of course, or not a triple duelist comp looks like on defense. Uh, let's see if the Malayan Warlocks can shut down the momentum that the MGS Spades have had so far. But honestly, if the MGS Spades win this round, it could be pretty huge, especially in terms of confidence running this triple duelist comp. Confidence indeed has to be the name of the game as of the moment. And this is just space proving to us that they've woken on up. But Hellion, he's been awake every single time. Sometimes you see someone having a good rest and waking up normally. This is a man who's just taken every single shot of energy. Good to go. And he's proving it yet again. Really strong on that duelist roll. Gets the first pick up for the Warlocks. And now we know that the Warlocks can really still hold a lot easier. On Haven, you lose one on the attack. Not too bad. But you lose one on the defense. is a lot harder. Warlocks wins that field and now they have the advantage and they have their grounds to hold all right we see them approaching a this time looks like it's going to be a split some through sewers we see the jet going through long but we see cypher from Malayan warlocks actually already waiting here close to heaven and spawn side we see a couple of walking through jet it's going to come in yeah. through as well Smoke comes through in the paranoia as well onto Heaven as the members of the MGS Spades come in. Dry gets a kill onto Hellion there, turning things into a 4v4. Well, we might see the plant go down there by default. Actually, not just yet. They're rotating and hesitating, doubling back. <laughs> Uh, they're, they're just erasing their left. answers, but now they see it right in front of them. And a sign is the way planted. to go. They're actually wasting a lot of time because Warlock's now ready for a 4v4 clash. They're stocked up though here on the CT side and across the gonna be looking to lead the charge. There's the peak though from two, Ooh. but suddenly dual goes down and the space taking the risk. They're gonna get scanned up and gonna get felled along the way. Across the now with the pain shells, the zone out short. There we go with the TP to get over to the other side. Brain right now halfway there and another side with the kill here from the Warlocks. Efficiency at its finest and the spades their hesitation is costing them that round because the first two ones they were just like go in let's get these kills this time they're like we really want to go a and that's why you don't want to be a soft boy there yeah that's definitely not what we want to see from the mgs spades any semblance of hesitation from a team comp like this is going to cost them a lot and we did see that happen in that previous round meanwhile for the malayan warlocks though it was a really clean retake coming from them. We saw them just take out the members of the MGS Spades one by one. And it's going to be scary if we see them perform like that consistently throughout the rounds here on defense. Now let's see if the MGS Spades can get rid of the hesitation, you know, push those doubts away and be confident in each other as they go for the attack. I mean, they've showed us the power of friendship and the power of triple duelist, and now they're gonna do it again with Zeriner on a roll. A while ago, he was on the Omen, but seems like Spade said, okay, you're popping off, bro. Let's put you on the Reina, and we'll see what you can do there. Crowning a new duelist in this kingdom, but for Acrosti, he has to back on away. Good zone there with the boom bot. There we go, we try getting another takedown, but Acrosti will get the refrag along the way. Seems like the infiltration there from Spades gives him a bit more of the advantage, but still, they have to get those guns, and look how Warlocks is defending so far. They're keeping an eye up on the, those corpses at the very least or keeping an eye out on the, the normal entryways which forces spades to still do it with the pistols on a site instead yeah we see them walking up through a long looks like they're going to split up it's going to be a 4v2 or rather 4v3 but like you said the guns are on the malayan warlocks here no one is actually yeah. 
on A side right now. So the smokes come through, but it might not even be necessary. The camera though is there. He spots them, knows the plant's coming down, Spike and now it's going to be all about the retake again. Can the Malayan Warlocks get as clean a retake as they did in the previous round? You see the ult is up actually for Zirinir here in case it needs to be used. Reyna ultimate gonna be available, but I would be very surprised to see him use it if he only has a pistol. Warlocks though, they had no choice but to give up that A side for free because they only have three left on this defense. Now, they're making this post plant happen with a push on it. Cypher cages are there across the with the first takedown onto the Reyna, and Kent's gonna be swinging onto the right side across it. They're looking to make another atrocity happen. Headshot will connect, and now it's time for some crime as it's time for the fireworks to connect. Four in the row for across the He's looking for the ace to clutch it out for his team. Mirror matchup here. Now and there you go! He will be the ace of the Warlocks along the way. But he's gonna back on away. The Spades have bought enough time and the Warlocks will have to give up that round. But you gotta give it to Acrosity there. Yeah, definitely gotta give it to him there. It was a 1v1 in the end. There wasn't enough time. So great job from the Spades to buy time for themselves. You see a bit of that replay. Showstopper comes through. It was a really good effort from him, you know, on that ace. But in the end, of course, it's going to be Spades chatting worth as they were able to win that round. So it's going to be 3-1 now on the score. We see the buys coming through with some Aries actually for Kent. But everyone else is going to be rocking those rifles. A uh, one half shield though for Homea there on the defending side. Let's see what they can do with this lineup. Yeah, we'll find out because the spades are really proving to us that they can still fight in this game. Only a sloppy mistake costing them once, and now they are back in action. And that was an eco win from them in the last round. They do lose one shirt, but Ooh. there's the refrag from Nan. And there you go again. You lose one duelist, two more will strike. And that is what the triple duel is all about here from the spades. Such a Three of a kind setup, isn't it, for them? And with a 3 1 lead, they're really showing why they made it to the quarterfinals so far. Okay. Yeah, if they can keep this up, it's really gonna cause the Malay Warlocks to lose their footing. Uh, they're gonna see really that they area. had in the previous match, which is obviously gonna be great uh, for the MGS Spades. Really, the goal of their agent lineup right now is just really to disrupt and really go for the full offense here on the side. So, see them. Coming up with approaches, Ghost able to take out one, Kens is down, it's a 3v3, they have two ults as well here on their side, where will the plant go? A is clear, you said they are going to go plant on that side. Yeah, Spades is just going for eight Five takes again, and it's been very comfortable for them. They have the raise, they have the Cypher, and it really makes it a lot harder for the Warlocks to go there in the first place. So I'd like to see the Warlocks actually look to check that one out, but since they're losing people on the west side, they have to reinforce. It's really a damn if you do, damn if you don't kind of situation, but the Warlocks right now will just make this push available and happen. Try though, with a potential backstab, making yeah. some noise a little bit. And there we go with a peek, and surprise, surprise, there's the takedown. Look for the lineup, but no, it's not gonna happen. That's the open. Get the kill instead, and the cross team will get the defuse this time to allow the Warlock to get that win. Yeah, we saw Cypher taking a while to go and help out the teammates there who were being taken down on A side. So unfortunate for the MJ Spades, though they do have five ults actually charged up now. So I'm kind of excited to see uh, what their approach is going to be for this round. Again, it's 2 3 on the score. So things are looking much more even this time uh, than they were in the previous game. So the MJ Spades. Hopefully feeling a little bit hopeful this time around. The Malayan Warlocks still going to have to keep up the consistency they had in the previous game. Uh, but the MG Spades definitely not going to make it easy for them. Yeah, and find out if the MG Spades can actually make this a win with those ultimates online. Hellion right now, Operator, he hits the knee and now he cannot be an adventurer anymore. But Hellion right now looking for another one. There's a dash on the way. Try it though with the kill on the catch and Nan with the punish. A is really for the taking here for Spades. They're doing it again and they're looking to put that spike down. All right, the Hunter's Fury comes through to try and stop the plant there, buy themselves some time. Used up and not taken down, but Homea actually gets a kill onto Ghost there. It's a 3v4. You see the Empress online right now for Zirinir. Is he going to go on the killing streak here and take out the remaining three members for defense? We see the ult come through, tries to get some information. He's actually taken out there by Brayan, and now that evens things out. It's a 3v3. Showstopper comes through, and the attackers actually get a kill, but it's immediately traded as Acrosity takes out Nan. Now it's only Acrosity left alive, and Zirinir with the two kills in those remaining seconds, and that's going to be fourth round win for the MGS Spades. Yeah.
Yeah, the spades are really doing it here. They're proving to us that this is why they made it to this day. And with a 4-2 to two lead, they're trying to get every single round they can on this attacking side for the Warlocks. If they get a 6-6 six, six scoreline, I would really like that for them because of their composition of choice. And in a case like this, if spades can get more momentum on the attack, they will have to suffer less on the defense. Because when we get into that half, it's going to be so completely different here for the spades. Right now, it's them running the pain train, but the tracks will change as soon as we get into round number 13. For now though, the Warlocks right now, they're trying to find the right incantation, but it seems like Hellion gonna get beaten back immediately. Chameleon will go, will go down across it though with the refrag there, 4v4, but the Spades gonna be still feeling confident with the Operator on Ghost. And there we go with a quick little jump peek that doesn't lead to much there. Yeah, the Millennium Warlocks are on a save right now, but Acrocity was able to get the one tap onto the Omen there uh, of MGS Spades. Let's see what the approach will be here. I thought they were going to go for a C long push, but it seems like they're rotating now. They're going to run all the way through and go back to their comfort zone, which has pretty, uh, pretty much been this A site. Of course, the camera is there, but it's on site, so they won't see this push through A long. And no one is on the site either, so it's going to be a bit of a rotation for the defenders uh, to catch up here. Yeah, we'll find out though, as this is going to be the A site yet again cleared up by the spades ready to go set this spike down and the warlocks will have to deal spike with this planted. again there have been some good post plants here for warlocks but there have been some better ones here from the spades and the score doesn't lie the Gotta camera has out. been very cheeky though from kent and that intel has really allowed them to get a good angle onto this one but classic only in hand sheriff here for across the one tap need to go their way one but this is going to be spades ending. getting the kills that they need again as soon as the warlocks push they disappear spades will really put out the magic trick and make it a 5-2 to two lead. Alright, now this coming round, this round right here is where things I think are really going to be crucial because now that the Millennium Warlocks can actually buy up is what will show us if they can perform on a full buy and shut down the momentum here from the MGS Spades. If the Millennium Warlocks lose this round again, then that's really going to be momentum swinging on the MGS Spades uh, with this attacking side right now. Uh, we see the ultimates, there are three on the defender's side, so that's also an advantage for them. It's gonna be a crucial a big round for them if they get this one. Warlocks, they need to get one back. Spades trying to run away with it. And here we go again into Haven. We already see that A has been the place to be. And for the Warlocks, it's interesting that they haven't rotated their Cypher there as of yet. But you can really say that the Spades have been forced to go A because of the positions here by the defense. But on the other side, it still has been A being king for the attack here. Hellion though, he wants to make an impact. He's been shut down multiple times in this game. Smoke that immediately onto the window. And the Spades already trying to navigate here onto the left side. But the Warlocks, they might be ready for this. Yeah, we can see a switch up. The boom bot comes through. Not gonna spot anyone though on the ground. And we see two members actually hovering on C. Long kills come through. Rather, the shots and Hellion gets one. Trying to look for a second, gets him. Nan and Chameleon both fall. And now it's gonna be a four or rather 5v3 with a lot of members Game down for three. the MGS Spades. Looks like this could be the round that the Malayan Warlocks were looking for. And this is the round that Hellion has been looking for because he's raising hell. He gets three. Kent just dodges the off shot, not just once, but twice. <laughs> and Ghost did not stand a yeah. chance there whatsoever. The Warlocks will prove to us why they won game number one with a flawless win there. And it really goes to show if you don't shut out Hellion early on, he will make you pay that price. Now the momentum could potentially swing in favor of the Malayan Warlocks. They're definitely looking to shut down the MGS Spades here. And honestly, if the Malayan Warlocks go on a winning streak from this point on, then I think that could really put a, a rather be a bit of a That's downer why. for the MGS Spades here. Because like we keep mentioning, with the agent lineup that the MGS Spades are running, if they don't get a lead on the attacker side, the defense is going to be really rough from them. The shot misses there from Hellion. Not sure how, but it is going to keep them all alive. A couple of... Uh, damage rather HP it could have been actually a double kill if oh. things lined up for them oh man the MGS space must be shook right now that, that was a leg side. collat that was a leg collat how do you even see that one coming and that was so close for Hellion to just make it another similar round to the last one but the spades 
they are actually going to be breaking their lucky rabbit's foot there to actually survive still as five. But now they have to back on away. They will respect the operator waiting there. A triple stack already from the Warlocks in this case. And look how Spades have rotated it over to these sides. Scandal comes. Zero there has to back on away. And now the Cypher has to deal with the attacking side. Here comes Nando and the rest of the crew. Kent, they've shown us the power of Seelong. And he's going to try to do it again. Dash on Nando up in the air. Here comes Ghost now with that first takedown. Blades are though going to get popped on the other side. And the Warlocks going to be looking to retake. Nice yeah, definitely going to be a retake here. The attacker side come in limping but they still get the plant down. See a lot of them load on HP right now. And because a lot of the members of the Millennium Warlocks were coming from A, it's going to be a bit of time here. Three ultimates though for the Millennium Warlocks to use if they really want to secure this round and keep their momentum going. We see a flank actually coming through from Zirin here. The blades come through to fall from the attacker side here and things looking good so far. Let's see if they can go for it. Trial Showstopper comes through 2v2. What's gonna happen here? Focus down and there we go. Zirinur getting the down and out on the cross. The home though sticking it. Can he survive? He will just go with Grits and he will clutch it there to get that win. The Warlocks will steal it. 3 HP and a dream. Zirinur just doesn't get the shot in time. So very close, but no cigar there and the Warlocks will steal that away with that trick. Yeah, like we mentioned, again, this is the opportunity for the Malayan Warlocks to really swing things in their favor. Now we've got two ultimates on either side, and we need to see the MGS Spades kind of mix things up here and get those frags going for them. That's going to be the two duelists actually with their ultimates, so we might see some flashy plays here. Bladestorm and Empress are up. And it seems like the smoke is going to be thrown onto A there. Let's see if they'll go for the A push once again. It has been working for them so far. Drone thrown out. Tag comes through. A couple of utility being used here, but no committing just yet. And just covering those grounds just in case that there is going to be an operator in hand. And speaking of that one, Hellion will have it again. Looks for the lineup, but this time hits the wall instead. Unable to really keep his recoil back into that last step. But the Pain Shields right now on the A-Long going to zone things out for the sides of the Warlocks. The cross team will get one because Ghost is all alone there in that push. Zero though with the retract. And finally, the states will come on with this offensive. A-Site is theirs for the taking again. 3v3 though. And Hellion moving over to the high ground. Heaven is a place to throw. And heaven is a place here on a heaven because there you go with Hellion getting one more another angel set to God as Nan will go down Hellion looking around for a little bit more sees no one as of yet There's the peak from the omen 34 HP though for our jet to survive and for now the spades gonna be playing it a little bit more defensively another peak though They're really playing with fire, but they aren't getting burnt as of yet homie and chameleon getting one apiece Here comes the push right now and the spades will fall the warlocks will tie it up Took them some time, but the Malayan Warlocks continue to dominate here. It's going to be three rounds in a row, I believe, for the defenders right now. Things are looking good for them. Definitely not looking good for our attackers, though. Uh, with Considering their agent lineup, you know, like we mentioned, them being even is pretty much losing for the MGS Spades. Because again, once we switch over to Thanks. the defender side, unless they can find a way to make this triple duelist lineup work consistently in the next half when we switch over, then they definitely want to secure a lead here just, you know, for kind of an insurance before we switch over to the next round or next Absolutely. half, rather. Absolutely right. It's uh, when you play something this attack heavy, it really feels like it's a stream team dream where you all just want to show up. You all just want to be the highlights and you all just want to win as quick as can be to go next for some more MMR. But for now, it's a battle to make it to that semifinals and the Warlocks doing a great job to tie things up. A steal and now a win. The Spades, they will have to figure out what to do with these shares, but we've seen before from the spades that the possibilities are endless. They are just ridiculous with the combinations. You get a deck of cards, you know how many things you can do with it? A million and more. It's a million is another statement, but right now it's the spades are trying to make a billion bucks happen with these revolvers. Hellion though is looking absolutely dazzling there. That's gonna be dry going down, and the spades loses one already. Yeah, the bomb actually dropped there, and I believe Hellion saw that, so they know it is there. Gonna go for the rotation. Zirinir, though, falls in a cross, and he's looking for another. Gets the two kills, shutting down the attack here. And it looks like the Malayan Warlocks are looking to get themselves another win in this so far four-round winning streak. If they can get this, we see the rotation. 
coming from the MGS spades, two of them going through long. There we go. Long movement indeed. Nan right now wants to go for flashback hops, and there you go. Frogger hopping on the run, but it's brilliant now with a kill onto one. The Warlocks just making it look so clean this time. And the Spades has the back on the way. Gotta say though that that's it. He needs to just go kamikaze. He cannot afford to save this gun. And there you go, Ghost will get that Ten kill with a left. tap there. But actually, since he got the battle anyway, he is going to be saving instead. Dashes on the way, avoids the shot. And the Spades, they don't have time to get the mud. There's the push no from Ghost. He will get mud more, but Kance will get the refrag. And that is that. The Warlocks will take the lead as we get into the last round last of their round defense. The Alright, we saw Ghost trying so hard there. But of course, it is going to be the Malayan Warlocks securing that one. And now, for the first time in this game, the Malayan Warlocks are in the lead. So the MGS Spades, you know, I'm sure uh, this is really the pressure on their side. Because once again, if the Malayan Warlocks win this game, it is over Here. for the MGS Here. Spades. And the Malayan Warlocks will be moving to the semifinals oh, tomorrow. Nice so they really want to keep their dream alive here. Two ultimates. On each side, we got the Showstopper. Of course, the TP from the Omen. Let's see what the approach is. Hellion gets one with the op, and just like that, they're already a man down. You can never count Hellion out. He will just get in your face. He will get into your sidelines as soon as you're not paying attention. And that's one down already here for the Spades. Ghost a while ago trying to play it clutch. And even though he got the buy again, he will be going down immediately. Hellion wins too. He dashes into someone though. And Zero there says, excuse me, sir. Did you knock over my tray? And he will get that takedown instead. Across the go onto the high ground. The Spades, they were able to actually get into the back of a site, but didn't clear it properly. And now they pay the price for it. They lose it too. Two the operator across the team the blast back and the spades unable to get that spike down because we see across the holding on to the window so far yeah across the just trying to buy them some time right now to keep the plant from coming down showstopper is still online it actually comes through is anyone gonna get struck by this he's just aiming it at heaven but no one is gonna dare peek that right now it's a 4v3 we got 30 seconds left but they've already committed to this site so they're gonna have to find a way to make some space for them and secure this site, put down the spike. 30 Tito, seconds left. 30 seconds to go. Oh, we've seen this before though from the space. This hesitation can cost them. But for now, they're looking for the setup. And the Crossity will get the wall back instead. That dark cover, not covering it up. The Crossity also taking Zerner with him. Drag him along with the Showstopper there. Chameleon now all alone. But that's going to be Brayan not paying attention. Now two of them coming in from the CT side. And the connection here from Homia to get that win. The Warlocks will win the half. 7-5, to five, giving them a really good vantage. Coming into their attack. And now it's up to space to prove to everyone that they can make this work on the defense. Switching oh man, sides. it is truly going to be an uphill climb for the MGS Spades here. Not only did they fail to secure a lead on the attacking side, but now they're going to have to pull off this triple duelist comp on defender side. And keep in mind, again, this is their last game. If they don't win this, they will not be able to move on to the semifinals tomorrow. So everything, every single round at this point really counts for the MGS Spades. I'm going to be excited though to see what options they go for uh, with their agent lineup because, you know, triple duelist, not a lot of utility. Are they going to be aggressive this time around and try and catch the Malayan Warlocks off guard here? There are two choices for them I really see. Aggressive defense where they just run in and go for the takedowns onto like the mid grass area, the oh mid doors, God. and even the best A lobby. Or they just let a spike be taken and let that spike be dropped on the site and then go for the post plant with a full retake there. It's going to be very difficult though for the spades, but this is what they need to do. Get the tempo with the initial pickoff and right now look for the duels. Triple duelists. It's already in the name. Go for the 1v1 duels. You'll still have more or less an even fight. The Warlocks on the meantime, it's all about them grouping up. They still are playing two duelists though they want to play the aggression and Chameleon has to peek again to a paranoia though into play everyone bumping on the round but Acrocity will still get the name to get that take that Hellion also lurking in behind Dry will get felled there goes though with a refrag along the way he gets two so far across the right now still on the board and suddenly it's 2v2 the space getting the damage sure and Zurinder with a proper peek at the proper time now it's all up to Hellion and can he do it big round here pistol round first round on this half if they can win this it could be you know, really good way for them to get some momentum. 1v1 though. It's the Jet versus the Reyna. Who is the better duelist after all in Valorant? Let's see, a couple of shots being fired and it is gonna be Zirinir winning that one to try and tie things up for the MGS Spades.
I got so scared when he really spammed down the burst fire there, but he still got the kill. He got the crack on. And MGS Spades proving to us that they can win that pistol. But right now, the proof has to be in that scoreline. One round, sure. Done. Dusted. SMG's into play. Best way to go about things. This is a good way to really mitigate that utility disadvantage. And now, they are going to go for the aggression. Warlocks, though. Sheriff in hand for Acrocity. I feel like that's going to be a hot potato. They're going to be bouncing on the round if someone dies with it. And there's a frenzy as well for the Warlocks on the hands of the Jet. Can Hellion get close enough to get that takedown? Or will Spades play some distance in this game? Right, looking at the positioning so far, Malian Warlocks looking to push through Garage here. See Hellion peeking at the window with his frenzy. Firing a couple of shots, but no kills just yet. We're seeing a 4 Spectre and a Stinger lineup from the MGS Spades here. And they are spreading out quite a bit. The Cypher was, of course, left there on A. Reyna here on C as they push up through mid. Seems like it could be a push through B or rotating through Garage right now. Chameleon though on the high ground for the time being and this time the window defense will actually hold Paranoia though in the play Hellion first of all though and now it's gonna be zero and they're going for the bait and switch it's like okay my turn tap out the tag team wrestling here and now and those gonna be able to catch up Brian as well watch the control C side and that's clean here from the space they go fast they go hard and they get the kills seven to seven in our score line all right tying things up and not losing a single gun so that's good for the MGS Spades but now we're gonna see a full buy coming through for the Malayan Warlocks that's a uh, two Vandals and of course three Phantoms on their side full shields are up this is the chance Careful. now for the Malayan Warlocks to get their lead and show that they have the better lineup but of course with the MGS Spades this is really really tense for them yes. right now they really need to get the lead going for them so they can secure this game and make it a three game uh, for our best of three so far we see the approach and then take it slow, maybe an A push here for the Millennium Warlocks. The spades are really giving their all here, and I'm glad to see them actually make a big difference, especially on their map pick. They needed this confidence back, and they are really keeping it up against the Warlocks. It really felt like that game number one was just them waking up on the wrong side of the bed and not being ready for the action in time. But for now, they are good to go, and we are seeing a quarterfinals to really start off the playoffs here in the University Alliance Cup. Across the though, peeking around, and who will jiggle first onto the right side? Who's going to be able to see the other one? There's a tap snow. The Rays cannot get the shot. Dark Cover will be able to Stop whatever this dance is, and now the Warlocks will move over to A site instead. All right, I like this patience from the Malayan Warlocks, just confusing the MGS Spades a bit. We see them kind of two members here on C. So the Recon Bolt has come through, dashing in. It looks like it's going to be them committing to the A site here. Going to be a bit of a time here before the Malayan Warlocks, or rather the MGS Spades, planted. can catch up. And the spike has been planted. Let's see if they can keep this up. And there we have it. Spike is really down. The Warlocks, though, taking some damage. Dry, unfortunately, that's not a rifle. Can't get that tap there. But it does do the damage on the Cypher in the first place. Critical HP now for the Warlocks. The Cypher drop down the from Dry. And he will drop down down below to the ground. And then some Hellion now will get three. He pushes on and gets caught out there by now. But that's going to be Kent still surviving with the kill onto the race in response. And Zero there with that Stinger. He decides to go for the Phantom instead. Gets this gun, he might be able to play the clutch, but for now, that spike is gonna be slowly but surely looking to pop. And speaking of pop, Homia's head will pop now. They're in there looking a second, but Acrocity will get the kill instead. And the Warlocks will get that third round turnaround for this half. Yes, the Malaya Warlocks again. They are once again in the lead here and looking to end things this game. If they can win this game, they will secure their slot for the semi finals and they will be facing. Admu, uh, LG Esports tomorrow if they can secure this game here. Let's see though, looking at the buys, there's an operator coming through for Ghost on defense to make things even harder uh, now for the Malayan Warlocks. So they don't want to get their momentum going. The Judge though for Hellion, let's see if that works out for them. He's doing it again. The judge is in hand, but goes with the operator. And this is really just a yin yang approach, isn't it? We have a shotgun on one, we have a sniper on the other. It's long range versus short, and apparently the short stick of the bank stick gets already on the dry. One down here for the side of spades. So the Warlocks makes an opening, but they are going to be looking to get that pick up onto A. And we see the spades rotating over there, but look at the fake here for the Warlocks. They move over to the C side instead. Good tactics here from the Warlocks, and they're really proving that they know a lot better than many in this 
collegiate scene. They're really proving to us their experience in more and more on the local side. The Warlocks right now putting the spike down and peekaboo, there's no one here on C. Man, I like this approach coming from the Malayan Warlocks, just really rotating and kind of confusing the MGS space. They've only got two members left and they even dodge the Operator here from Ghost, although Nan is going to take out Hellion. So we'll see if they can keep themselves alive. I, I guess they're opting, or rather opting to save this op here they're uh, on the defense. They're opting and they're opting. That's true. That's <laughs> true. And just watching each other's butts right there. That's the spades. They have to keep that operator alive. It's a big waste to buy an op and get absolutely nothing out of it. The Warlock's already going for the ATC translocation. And for them, it's an easy round to take. And this is what we were talking about. As soon as spades kind of reads the situation wrong and they don't have the numbers to go for a proper retake, they will struggle to really hold on. There is almost no staying power except that Cypher. He's the only one who can properly stall for time unless Nan has every little bit of the fireworks still available. So in a case like this, it has to be a bit of a step up here from Drive because he's the only one they can rely on if it is going to be a stall gameplay. But Spade, That's Fast okay. and Furious action is where it's, it's going to be at. Yeah. I love the camera placement though from oh, our Cypher so far. Really proving to us they know where to set up for the Warlock. Setting up a 2-0 potential win if they can win it here and now on Haven. Yeah, the MGS Spades are going to have to find a way to really maximize their utility here. Especially since they did go for the three duelist composition. Now what is the approach going to be? The shot is fired from Ghost. Proving that saving this op is actually really the decision to go for. Now it's going to be four people left here from the Malayan Warlocks. Bomb is close to spawn. They haven't committed just yet. Probably going to look for a pick maybe here on here. B site. We see the Rays waiting. Looking for the right opportunity across city to get a one tap maybe. Yeah, he's on that right angle. Trying to see if anyone's going to peek for now. But the Warlocks, they lose one there. And they're playing it safe and sound. They have to be very careful when they go into the sight lines of Ghost. But now... They might deal with Zero in there instead. Spike though, still on mid doors. They're trying to play this out for the time being. Slow and steady pace here from the Warlocks. Not as go fast and go hard as we have been seeing from them so far. But this is just going to be a bit of respect here on the spades and what they have done in this game. Now though, oh my god, Acrocity, you scared me, Ghost! Oh, so just oh to get jump scared there. And that's the race. Peaking in time to get that takedown. The silence broken by left. the battle shots. And the Warlocks now making 4v4 and on the A side they go. Alright, let's see if they can secure this or if the Malayan Warlocks can keep this up. The plant is going to go down. Brian plants the spike. See a couple of members from MGS Spades now trying to get the high ground, maybe walk up to heaven and come through spawn as well. We've got two ultimates here from the attacker side, Showstopper and the Bladestorm. Hellion coming from a really interesting angle here and he's gonna get the killer onto Camellio. Now it's only three left here from the defender. Showstopper comes through across and he gets one, but immediately taken down. Now it's a 3v2. Brayan unable to secure that one. And slowly, the Malayan Warlocks are out of the MGS Spades going for the retake. Dashes through. The Bladestorm gets one. Can he finish him off? It's a 1v1. He actually gets it. And that is going to be Hellion with the 3k. The floor is lava, and the classics are the only things you can keep yourself afloat. Hellion, that was just such a great play for him to go for the blade star. Really good intel, really good call to just get rid of the Empress first. But suddenly, whiff, 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 right clicks. Okay, that's the way to go. And eventually, from a really good play, it's still going to be the Warlocks getting the win, but in the most awkward fashion, hasn't it? It could have been gone to try, it could have gone to Hellion, but that was a really good call, catching out the Empress there first and foremost. And the Warlocks, even in that tomfoolery, they way. still have that three-round lead. It's time for them to go for the push again. There we go, with a Lear Peak, and Serenor will get punished immediately. Good call there from the Warlocks, really stacking it up, and they understand that the duel is here on the other side, want to play the aggression, and they are ready for it in the numbers. 4v2 on the seaside we go, and the MG is it's popping the blade star, but Ghost can't find anyone as of yet. Yeah, the MGS Spades looks like they might go for the flank here. We see one going through C long, but Brian is there to catch the rotation. Jet is there in the garage area, just looking for a possible pick here. There we go. Stop darts. Being thrown out. Bounces over to the right side, but hey, at least it's a different area code there. And Dry and Homia gonna be able to get one apiece. Three versus one, though. Here comes Ghost right now with the blade star across the 
will get that takedown and the warlocks they said guys we have to go to a school on saturday but we also want to go to school on sunday two away though to get that class in session with the lg esports squad but mgs spades they still want to take that slot away they are still in this game 11 to 7 guns in hand but this might be the last chance they will have oh man yes indeed this could be their last chance mgs spades they are in a familiar position like they were in in the previous game couple of rounds left on the Malayan Warlocks to win this. And the MGS Spades, we knew they were going to struggle on this half because of the agent lineup that they have. Can they find a way to make it work? Or would the Malayan Warlocks really secure this game and send themselves to the semi-finals? Here in here, able to get one pick. So that's good for them. But one falls immediately now. It's a 4v4. 4v4 indeed, it's gonna be MGS Spade, so still trying to hold their triple stacking here in the middle, one onto the double doors, two into the grass area instead, and it really feels like the sunken garden right now for the MGS Spades is the place to be. But now the Warlocks ready with the Hunter's Fury, and what they want to do here is get that spike down before anything else. They don't want to commit that Sova Ultimate from Brian before the objective is gonna be the focus point, and there's looking for picks and peaks for the time being. But a side hold here from the Cypher really putting Hellion on his toes. He can't really commit onto that one unless he knows where his opponent is. But here comes the push on the A side anyway. Hellion slowly but surely trying to creep on forward. Try to clear this out. Try keeping an eye out. Sees the gun already. And it seems like it's going to be the hunt afoot here as the Warlocks will be going on to A and the Spades will lag behind just very closely. All right, quick rotation here oh coming for, from the MGS Spades. They know left. that this plant is coming down from the Malayan Warlocks right now. Three ultimates are still up here. It's gonna be the retake situation. The showstopper is gonna be crucial here if he can get a kill. Doesn't see anyone though. Fires blindly. He does not secure a kill. Gonna go for the defuse here. Meanwhile, Ghost trying to get someone that is gonna be Hunter's Fury coming through. He actually takes one out and now it's a 1v2. Only the Omen left and MGS Spades, they could win this. Paranoia gonna come through, but I don't think there is enough time. And the MGS Spades able to get one here. Zirinir actually gets another before the round ends. Beautiful read there from the MG Spades, even denying the Sova Hunter's Fury. And they just pushed hard and they just made it happen again. This is what I was talking about. This triple duelist, they have to play like they're always on the attack. And that's what they did there on that post plant. They just went in. They didn't care anymore if someone would see them. The Warlocks unable to punish the overextensions there. And the Spades getting the proper kills at the proper times. Goodbye there to Brian and his Lightning. It seems like he's unable to cast that. And the Warlocks, it will just blow up in their face the space fighting for survival and they're doing it right now they can see the chips falling in over for the warlocks but they still have one more to go will this be a case for them to try and go for the comeback and then again 11 to 8 right now on the score line hellion creeping closer though to the cubby and the warlocks at it again all right gonna be a bit slower this time trying to slow things down the smoke though gonna go away let's see if they do decide to commit here to b the bomb is quite far it's actually close to spawn, and we see Cypher rotating over to see Long. Uh, quick little from the shadows, so quick little dark cover rather being thrown out. And Chameleon already down and out across the with that kill. Warlock still pushing forward onto C side, and they are trying to go for the two prong attack, but it's still not holding the line. And there you go. This is just where you just say, nag in it dito ang side ng space. And they are just absolutely hot. But Homia will do it again. 2v2 though in a matchup like this. In behind. This is Dry coming in for the flank. And the question really is, can the Warlock still survive? They're kind of sandwiched there with the Omen and the Spike. The left. Spade's in the proper spot to pounce. But now it's Ghost creeping Player forward. Ready. But Ooh. across, they will get that kill. And Dry right now on the hunt. Player There's ready. the backstab. 1v1 Ooh, now. Corpse. Oh man, the Spike is down. And it's on Dry right now. He's actually rotating to see if someone is going to come through his side. But the spike was picked up there. A couple of seconds left. to go. Should be able to make it here for the Malayan Warlocks. And now it's going to be a 1v1. Can Dry go for the retake here and keep the dream alive? Or will the Malayan Warlocks be off a while? A showstopper actually activated there because he thought the rush was going to come in. But now he's going to have to fire it blind and it's not secure that one. Was so early and it really felt like across the he felt that rush coming but right now it is gonna be the 
Cypher getting caught still. He just got that angle that the Rays was using a while ago. And the Warlocks will take that point and be on to the last one. Match point right now for the Warlocks. 12 to 8 in the scoreline. One away from booking a date to tomorrow's semifinals. But the Spades, they proved us that they can fight for their lives. And this time, they're going to be buying whatever they can in this round. Two ultimates online for the Warlocks. Three here for the Spades. It's time for them to use that Neural Theft as soon as possible to help them out in a round like this. Yes, indeed. Two rifles, a Stinger, a Spectre, a Sheriff, really just anything they can get their hands on here for the MG Spades to keep the dream alive. Now, let's see what the Malayan Warlocks are going to go for in terms of their approach on the attacker side. You see Sewers right now, the Jet. Boombot is thrown out there from the window, but no one is taken down just yet. Three ultimates on defenders. Kent's trying to get a pick here. That's gonna be Homea actually get, getting the kill there onto Ghost. It's gonna be one man down, two. Two fall, and now it's only three left for the defenders. Can MGS Spades try and hold on in this game? Uh, the contrast there from the Warlocks. A defensive attack, holding the lines, getting the double up there, and punishing those who extended far beyond their territory. Now the Spades, they have to go for one last hand. They are going to be looking to see if this is going to be the river going in their favor. Hellion though, with the blade storm already exposing his position, but this is going to be dry on the high ground. Keeping yeah. an eye out as much as possible. Eye in the sky, and one goes down. Hellion though, with a refract down below. It's 4v2, and Hellion says, I'm going to jump up there and try to get that kill. Camille all alone. It's do or die here for the Omen. And he only has the Sheriff in hand. It's time to see if the machine will go in his favor. The one taps have to be absolutely huge. He's slow walking though to the side. Running out of time. Gets the gun. But this might be the Spades gunning out into this one. The Warlocks have really cast spell of us in this quarterfinal. And they will take it there. Add that one to the book. The Warlocks will be our first semi-finalist alongside LG Esports for tomorrow. Oh man, congratulations to the Malayan Colleges of Laguna, of course the Malayan Warlocks for making it and securing their spot in that semi-finals. They'll be playing tomorrow and I believe their opponent is going to be Admu's LG Esports. So definitely going to be an exciting match. This match in itself was actually pretty exciting. We saw the Malayan Warlocks, you know, they were kind of dominating in that first game. You know, that was eight rounds in a row. We thought it was going to continue, but the MGS Spades were able to get a couple of rounds on their own before the Malayan Warlocks assured themselves the win there. And then we saw this all-in triple duelist comp come through for the MGS Spades on Haven. We thought, you know, maybe they could mix things up. But unfortunately, when we did switch things over, it did prove to be difficult to pull off a composition like that once they were on the defense. However, they still did make a really good effort there on their side. They made it difficult still for MCL to secure that one. But unfortunately, in the end, we can only have one victor and that is going to be MCL today. Yeah, it just didn't suit the spades right now in that map. It was a good try and I love the gamble there. Triple Duelist playing to, well, their namesake as of yet. And they did go for a good start on Haven. But when the going got tough, the Warlocks just got even tougher. It, they tied it up there on the defense and they even stole the lead from them. And they just ran away on the attack. Good calls there from the Warlocks, understanding how to really play back. They had so many times that they get, got the punish against Spades. And the Spades, they only had really one proper tactic was to go for the kills. And it was just so hard for them because in a trade situation like that, they're the ones who are going to struggle. Defense on Haven is a bit of a stretch, literally. You have three sides to cover right now, Zika, And it's just so hard for them to have a man down. Warlocks able to exploit that and have they had a better start in the whole series allowing them to get the win but i gotta give it to mg spades they gave their all they gave it a really good shot and they impressed here it really proves to us that our six remaining teams well five now are so exceptional in the university alliance cup they made it to the playoffs for the reason and that first match was that so Thank you guys for everyone who really supported us so far. And it seems like we got one of our virtual hangouts winner to announce. And our winner is Ladola with a hashtag MCL win there. You know, the, the Malayan side just getting the win. The Warlocks really enchanting us there. And they will have a matchup tomorrow against LG Esports. So they're going to have to brush up again. But what a great match that was, Nausicaa. Yes, indeed. Now we're actually going to have another match for you guys. It is going to be another best of three. This time it is going to be between HAU's Valiant Archangels, and they're going to be facing FIT's Itamarau. So that's another really exciting match. Another best of three to find out who will be facing DLSU's Viridis Arcus tomorrow at the semifinals. But I leave for now. 
think we're probably just going to take a short break as we prepare for the next one.